let me ask you a question. How easy is it for you to write tests for APIs? How easy can you do this in Postman? How easy, how fast? What's your tips? What are your tricks? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a really fast and easy way that I'm 100% sure you had no idea that existed. So normally how one would write tests is by writing in the tests area from a Postman um, request and based on that then customize the script to have the checks that we want. But there are a couple of better ways. So if you go from the tests, if you open this part right here, you have snippets. And with the snippets, you can have a look and say, OK, I want it to do a couple of these things. And then you run your tests. And if you did everything correctly, it passes. But if you haven't done everything correctly, then, well, you get this, then you have five tests, and from the five tests, you have only one passed and five failed. So how can you um, make this work? So let's remove this. And if you have a look here, that's our answer. Here we have Postbot. Postbot says, write scripts with Postbot. So we click it, and what can we do? Well, well there are a couple of things which we can do. Let's start with the easiest one. So we have here add test to this request. OK, so we just let it do its magic. And now we have tests, one, two, three tests, which Postman, actually the five tests, sorry, which Postman uh, created automatically based on our response and on our body. So that's pretty cool, right? But besides being able to test, let's let's try to see how it can fix a test. Okay, mm -hmm. have length of, I don't know, let's put here 14. We send it, so we have one failed. And here we add something really stupid. Again, another one failed. Cool, so let's see if it can fix our tests. As you can see, it fixed this one and it also fixed this one. Pretty nice, right? So this also works with tests that you wrote and that fail. It will analyze it and then try to fix it. So we can do the following at the moment. We can say add more tests. And if it can find different kinds of tests, then it will add a couple more tests. Now, keep in mind, you don't want to add too many tests, which make no sense. but this usually does do the trick. Now, besides being able to create tests, let's do visualize a response. And we have here our response. Okay, let's do it again. So we have our body. And we want to see this as a table. Why not? We have a lot of information here. We want to be able to, to, see, uh, to see it as a table. So we have really nice visualization here. We have booking ID, first name, last name, price, and everything that was actually in our body. We can still see it as raw or in pretty form, but we also had it automatically in visualize. Now, if we save this, we and we navigate away, we come back, our tests are still there. Now, this is cool, right? I mean, this is really, really cool. But what if I told you you can do all that we did up to a point, of course, don't get too excited, with another, with, still with Postbot, but with another trick. So if we go on collection level, we have here generate tests. And it already sees if we have any tests created. And for the areas where we don't have tests, we can say, I want it to generate tests. So it will run our test, but also create new ones. Okay, we have here an issue. Let's just save this and then have a look. Okay, here we have booking ID. 
uh, this is to be a variable somewhere for some reason it didn't work well let's just uh, so we had the booking let's do this booking ID right here and change it we're not setting anything right here but let's go here again do generate tests it will see we have test perfect we do generate tests it will run all of our tests and 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 drum roll please we have also this right here so if we save the tests from this collection runner view and we navigate to each of our requests we have our request right here now besides being able to uh, do all of this predefined testing tasks postbot which by the way is also available with this icon down here so we don't need to open it from the sidebar you can also open it from here uh, you can actually ask questions and have it create tests maybe for for you based on human language so let's see we have here um what we're doing here we're creating a booking okay so let's see i want to um add a test that um, checks the response of the server it should be under 100 seconds or something like this let's see if it can interpret this Trinity test requires a response. Okay, so I need to send this. And if we navigate, it actually has created a test for us based on what we told it to do. Now, I'm curious, give it a go and write in the comments how much this can improve your API testing game. How many tests you can write now how how it will improve your your testing in the end as always do not forget to rest then test thank you for watching the video and i will see you in the next one have a good one and bye bye